In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to blink the uh, red LED in your board, as you can see it here. So let's go ahead and look at the uh, code and settings that are required for this. The first thing you wanna make sure is that you have set up your environment correctly. I am using uh, IR embedded workbench and I have set my device to the correct microcontroller in my board which would be this one here. I have also set the uh, compiler's processor to a path that will uh, recognize this H file that I'm including here. So that path that you just saw is where this file is located. Make sure you have set that up correctly. And I'm gonna be making a wait function which will be our waiting time for when the LED is off and then it turns on. And so of course this is my main function and also by the way, I will be posting this code on my website. You can get the link in the description below this video if you're watching it on YouTube. So the first thing that I do is I uh, make sure that I activate the memory for where port F is located and you do this by uh, giving the value 0x20 to this register here and you can find more about this register in the uh, microcontrollers data sheet in page 315 I have all the pages here for all the registers so this too just uh, you, you can find it in that page but it basically that's the uh, that would be the bit that you need to set for port F so that would be bit number 5 if you start 0 1 or uh, bit F the bit for F if you start counting from A as bit 0 next thing I need to do is unlock my port and this is just a constant value go to this page you're gonna see that it tells you that this is the value that you wanna give this register in order to unlock the PI the uh, GPIO port F you also have to enable commit for port F you need to turn on the analog mode since we're using digital configure port F as GPIO you can find out uh, like I said in all these pages why I chose this value it basically just gonna say there uh, give zero if you want this or give one if you want that the direction I want to make uh, these three pins outputs so I'll give them the value 0xe which in binary is 01110 so where am I getting uh, these positions here that's my uh, if you go to your data sheet for your uh, board you're gonna see that LED red LED blue and LED green are connected to PF1 PF2 and PF3 so we start counting from zero so this would be uh, my switch switch 2 is connected to PF0 I'm not concerned about the switch I just want the three LEDs so that's bit uh, one two and three once again starting by start by counting from zero so this is zero that's my switch these are my three LEDs I want them to be set as output so I give them the value one that's also in the data sheet in this page I want to disable uh, every other alternate function that my port F might have so I give you the value of zero and I want to enable digital on port F so I just give them the value of, give the value of one to all the pins and then I have an infinite while loop here so that my program doesn't have to start all the way from the beginning whenever it uh, reaches the return uh, so everything I want to do is in this infinite while loop so the first thing I do is I turn off the LEDs so I'm uh, this is just regular C code I'm adding this value 
uh, with the uh, inverse of 0xe this is the value of 0xe so uh, so I'm turning off the LEDs because this would be all zeros and you'll be ending it with the uh, data register in port F and the data register is what uh, gives the values to the pins so this is where I turn off my LEDs then I call my wait function then I turn on the red LED only notice there's an OR here so I'm only controlling the uh, red LED that's in uh, we change it to binary you're gonna see that that will be the position for the uh, red LED which is PF1 so that's zero 01 so change uh, this to hexadecimal and you're gonna get zero 01 once again I call my wait function so that uh, my LED stays on for a little bit and then I end my loop return zero this is my wait function is just a for loop that uh, gets executed uh, you know thousands of times uh, I just chose this value uh, randomly it doesn't it's not a specific time period I, I tested different values and I found that this one gave me a good blinking rate you can try different uh, different values if you want so that's how the program works Thank you for watching.